Hello, my name is Julian Edgar and I'm the author of the book Modifying the Electronics of Modern Classic Cars. It's for people with cars from the 1990s and the 2000s. Now, I've been writing about electronics and car modification for a long, long time. But one thing that's changed in the last five years, which is just absolutely fabulous, is that the cost of components has just dropped like you wouldn't believe. You can now buy electronic modules, you can now buy electronic displays so cheaply that projects that once would have been a bit borderline are now definitely worth doing. Now, one of those projects is fitting a digital voltmeter to your car. It's really easy, just two wires to connect, it's really cheap, and especially if you have a car that you're not driving every day, it allows you to check on the voltage of the battery with just one press of a button. Really easy and really convenient. Now, what sort of voltmeters am I talking about? Well, here's one. It's an LED, a red LED digital display. This particular one's got three wires, but you can get them with only two wires that makes them really easy to connect. Those two wires, one wire goes to ground, the chassis of the car, one wire goes to the positive of the battery, and if you want to be able to switch the meter on and off, simply just put a switch in one of those two wires. What I do is I use a press button. So I mount the meter in a box, that box in my particular case also contains a circuit breaker for the, the battery. And when I want to see what the battery voltage is, I just press my finger on the button and there it is. Easy, quick and easy to see. Now, you can also buy battery voltmeters which are waterproof. So here's an example of a waterproof one. And this one's really easy because it fits just into a round hole. So it makes it really easy to fit it much easier and quicker than having to make a square or rectangular hole. And because it's waterproof, it can go anywhere under the bonnet if it gets splashed with water or rain, water off the road, it doesn't really matter. So that's almost all there is to it. Two wires to connect, one to chassis ground, one to the positive of the battery, uh, you might want to put a fuse in that circuit, but probably don't even need to do that. And a press button so that you can turn it on and see what the battery voltage is at any time that you want. Quick, easy, convenient, cheap. It's the sort of thing I'm covering in my book, Modifying the Electronics of Modern Classic Cars, cars for the 1990s and 2000s. And it's the sort of project which I've done on my cars, especially the cars that I don't drive every day, so I can just keep an eye on the battery voltage whenever I want to. I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.